Welcome friends to another DVD and Blu-ray movie pickup video. In this video I went to four different locations. I'm going to talk about the movies I picked up there, but this time I thought I'd do something a little bit different and also throw in uh, some of the movies I didn't pick up when I was out there. Let's jump right in. And the first location that I went to was Goodwill in Guelph, Ontario. And the first movie that I picked up there is Trail of the Panther, and I picked this up for my dad. Um, he lives fairly close, and so uh, we years ago went to see a Pink Panther movie, and sorry dad, you were rolling in the aisles laughing, and so I picked this up because I know at some point we'll get to watch this together, and hopefully you'll, you'll roll on the floor laughing again. Uh, <laughs> Hey, everybody does it once in a while. You you go to a show and you, you laugh your ass off. And he did with one of the Pink Panther movies. It might have been this one. I can't remember. It was so long ago. Uh, continuing in the vein of comedic movies, this is City Slickers starring Billy Crystal. And I saw Jack Palance on here. And he's not credited on the front, but that's definitely Jack Palance. Um, so, and I did see this. This is actually shrink wrapped. So, um, at three bucks, uh, Goodwill, pretty good deal for shrink wrap movie. This next one is a little bit different for me. Uh, I picked up the Sword in the Stone, Disney Sword in the Stone. This is the 45th anniversary edition. And I really love the, the animated graphics in this. It's just, just really kind of... Uh, nice look to to the graphics there and so uh, the last movie that I picked up at Goodwill and this is kind of continuing on from the last video that I did because um, I picked up a Tom Selleck Western in that video and uh, this time I found another one I don't know what's going on you know for a while I won't see anything like this and then all of a sudden I see a whole bunch of them so this is Tom Selleck and Monty Walsh based on Jack Schaefer's classic novel and the tagline here is a man struggling to hold on to tradition that made him a legend and so uh, it looks like an interesting movie it's a bit of a western as far uh, as f you know some people that they, they, they have typecast characters and, and or actors and for me Tom Selleck is a little bit I, I just I just remember him uh, when I was younger as Magnum PI of course so getting him in a couple of Western uh, videos I'm sure uh, you know I, I do like the odd Western and so happy to pick this up so now I want to switch over for a second and talk about some of the videos that uh, I didn't pick up at Goodwill and the first one here that I want to talk about is Tin Man which of course is uh, Tin Man from Wizard of Oz this is uh, I guess a modern take with uh, Zoe de Chanel did I probably I probably munch that a little bit and Richard Dreyfus is in this as well um, it says disc two on it, but there were actually two discs in there, and I don't think this was like part of a, a larger set. I think the the issue with this one here was just that uh, the discs were really scratched, and so I left it. Now this next one, I really wanted to pick it up, and I apologize, Gabriel, but hot and fluffy. Yeah, Gabriel Iglesias, great, funny, funny comedian, but the discs were just to uh, scratched so obviously somebody got to enjoy uh, the comedy of Gabriel Iglesias but I didn't take it home this time um, I'm gonna jump over again to full screen just to so that we can talk about what I picked up at Value Village and the first one that I picked up there is Lorenzo's Oil with Nick Nolte and Susan Sarandon and the catch line here is some people make their own miracles it is shrink wrap. Looks like a really good, interesting uh, story, and it it apparently was based on a true story. I haven't seen this, um, and it's about this couple and their uh, five-year-old son who has a uh, terminal disease. And so, um, movies like this, uh, you know, 
always like to watch one once in a while. Hopefully not too deep. Uh, these next two movies were right beside each other. This first one I wasn't going to pick up. So this is one that I hummed and hawed and I did pick it up. Um, more so because because I picked up the other one and I hated to leave this one there. Um, this one is Bette Midler in The, the Rose. And uh, Bette was... I think she was nominated for an Oscar for this performance. Um, this is this is a story that I, I guess has been quite a, a, a few movies where you have a, a an hard living singer, um, and it's basically you know the story about this singer who you know has great success and a great downfall, and and so. Um, Bette Miller and Rose. This next one is actually much older. This is Hello Dolly with Barbara Streisand and Walter Matthau and Michael Crawford. I can see myself watching this probably at least a couple of times, if not just for Walter Matthau and Barbara Streisand there. And it looks really good on the back too. It looks like uh, like it could be a, a, a fun movie, this particular one. And it's 1969, so this is... This is uh, this is pretty uh, pretty old movie, and it looks like it was actually a, a Best Picture Academy Award nominee in 1969. So that's that's something. It does have subtitles in English and Spanish. Um, so looking forward to actually watching this one. I haven't seen Hello Dolly. I may have actually seen The Rose a, a, a long time ago. And uh, hey, mom, if you want to come and see. Uh, the Rose, or you want it, uh, I'll probably just pass it on to you. This next one, Hellboy, I picked up because I actually have the, the second Hellboy, um, and I just needed this to fill out my collection. Uh, I actually also happen to have an animated Hellboy, so I didn't even get number one uh, until last. So I think there's a new one that just came out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. I think there's a new one that came out. Um, on to the last uh, video that I picked up, and I have no idea about this. This is just a, a, a television show, Adventure Time, the complete first season on Cartoon Network. And I picked this up because basically it was the standard $3.99 price. Now, I think that's actually the right price for for something like this. This is only a two disc set. I really, I don't know, I don't like it when they they uh, particularly price things where for sure you're going to find it cheaper somewhere new, not cheaper necessarily, but not at the the same price. Like a lot of these, these shows um, end up being a little bit overpriced sometimes. Okay, uh, we'll talk about what I didn't pick up at Value Village. And the first thing uh, is David Suzuki, The Nature of Things. And I didn't pick this up again because the discs were scratched up. Um, and I, I do have a number of IMAX movies. And so I thought, well, you know, the discs are in a state that this actually isn't bad. I think there's a couple of discs in here, $5.99. That's an okay price too, I think, for something that has a little bit of a collection, though you can see it's volume one, so there's probably several other volumes in this. Um, going on to the next video I didn't pick up, and that is Roy Scheider in Blue Thunder. And this is a little bit different. That uh, disc is actually okay. It is still at the Value Village in Guelph, Blue Thunder. Um, I didn't pick it up because I already have Blue Thunder in my collection. This is a special edition. I don't know what's so special about it. I have an older color cover. This one actually kind of looks cooler than the cover that I have. Um, but I didn't pick it up because I already have the movie. And so uh, I'll switch over to talk a little bit about the last play or the second last place, which is Salvation Army. And the first uh, video I picked up is actually the last video that I picked there. This is uh, Kung Fu 
the premiere episode. So this is just one episode. It was only a buck ninety nine. I mean, they usually charge now. They charge two ninety nine. I think they they used to charge less there, but for a dollar ninety nine for the the first episode of uh, Kung Fu, um, thought it's a very young David Carradine here. So. Yeah, this is the pilot episode that aired in 1972, February 22nd, 72. It's a pretty young guy there. <laughs> and the next one I picked up, this was almost uh, one of the last movies I picked up as well. This is The Good Girl, uh, starring Jennifer Aniston, Jake Gyllenhaal, and John C. Riley. And um, this, it says at the top, one of the year's best films and it does look really interesting Aniston is remarkable um, it does look like an interesting movie so I haven't seen this uh, looking forward to uh, watching this movie this next one um, I picked it up and I put it down and I picked it up again and this time I, I, I kept it with me. This is Lee Van Cleef, Jim Brown, and Leif Garrett in Kid Vengeance. So it's a Western. A young boy seeks to avenge the brutal slaying of his family. I actually didn't read that catch line when I, I picked the movie up. I picked it up just because I don't have any Lee Van Cleef movies. Um, so you can kind of see if you look close up there. That's a little better. Sorry. Reflection. Very strong sun. I've actually done this video many times over, but some some quality issues. Uh, so this is like take seven. Um, this looked like a really a, a, an old old movie. There's not many special features other than an interactive menu, uh, no subtitles, and as far as I know, it's just standard definition. I don't think it's widescreen or anything fancy like that and a couple of these movies I noticed they weren't even Dolby they're they're some other uh, format for audio this next one that I picked up there this was definitely when I saw it I said that has to not be scratched and I have to pick this up this was Richard Pryor and Jackie Gleason in the toy and really happy to have this I don't know I don't think I've seen this but I really like Richard Pryor um, so I'm happy to have picked this up and looking forward to, to seeing it. I'm almost through, um, almost through managing some of my other collections, so I should get to these soon. This next one that I picked up is Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. It's a Christmas movie. Uh, down at the bottom, the funniest holiday movie of all time. I don't know about that. Um, and... You know, it's Adam Sandler, so could be good, could be terrible. Uh, Rob Schneider is in this, though, too. So I also saw that, and I was thinking, okay, this, this could be... There is actually a ton of extras on this. There's a second disc with extras in here. This has both the full-screen and widescreen version of it. Um, there's a music video... Uh, uh, a short film called A Day with the Meatball and something about the NBA in addition to trailers, subtitles in English and French um, and Dolby Digital Audio. This next one is Big Trouble in Little China and so um, I, I'm pretty sure this is 80s, uh, picked it up because I don't have this and I don't recall if I ever saw it. I probably saw a few minutes from this. I don't think I ever saw the, the whole thing. But man, doesn't Kurt Russell look pretty young there? Uh, young looking Kurt Russell. So quite, quite, uh, looks like it, it's quite enjoyable. I think I saw a few minutes of it many, many years ago, but I haven't seen this in a long, long time. If I, if I did, I don't remember it. This last movie is the only Blu-ray that I picked up in this, uh, in this search, and this is Ted. And just because uh, Salvation Army, the Blu-ray was $3.99, I don't have this. I think I did see the second one. I found the first, first one funnier than the, the second, um, 
This is, of course, Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Seth MacFarlane. Um, I did find it mildly funny, I think. Um, enough to warrant me picking it up and, and adding to my comedy, which is actually lacking quite a bit. I tend to have a lot of adventure and action. And so this time, comedy, a um, little bit of... Mm, so, I guess you can't really say any of them are romance there, but there's probably drama, I guess, would be the best one. Uh, let's look at what I left behind at Salvation Army. So the first one here uh, that I left behind is Antonio Banderas and Lucy Liu in a movie called Ballistic X vs. Sever. Um, I just like Antonio Banderas and I like Lucy Liu, and so... Uh, this is a looks like an action movie but it was just way too scratched up this next one I really really wish I could have picked this up even though I'm sure the quality wouldn't have been super but the disc was just way too scratched and that is Rin Tin Tin uh, Law of the Wild so Rin Tin Tin of course being the the German Shepherd on the uh, on the the cover there and it says 12 wild chapters and so it does say classic movie but it then says serials as well so maybe this was I guess serialized over time and turned into a movie anyway that got left behind um, just because too many scratches so the very last movie here uh, we went to giant tiger in um, in Guelph and I do want to mention that that the use to some of the giant tiger locations is actually pretty good. You can get a, a range of prices, um, though it seems to be more on the high side now. You, at one point, I actually picked up 40 movies, 40 plus movies at a dollar a piece, and they weren't absolutely unknown titles. They were actually somewhat known titles. That was on a Boxing Day, though, years ago. But they were priced really reasonably. Now, I think the least you can find is like a DVD for two ninety nine. But they are all new. They're not. Um, they're not used that I know of, or at least they they may be used, but with a pre owned sticker or something on it. But all shrink wrapped. And the only movie that I picked up there is Halle Berry in Frankie and Alice. Uh, and sun's coming in real strong. But here we go. Frankie and Alice in Halle, uh, starring Halle Berry, and this is, of course, a, a movie about the duality of uh, of the character that uh, Halle Berry plays. And so, um, this one's maybe perhaps a little bit more dramatic than some of the other movies. Maybe not the one movie near the beginning there, but uh, that's it for uh, the movies that picked up this week please give the movie a thumbs up if you like it uh, give it a thumbs down if you don't like it and leave a comment below um, but thanks again for watching and hope to see you again